Hey what's up everybody my name is Trofinet and welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn. We're on our way to Meridian but it's quite a ways off so 1,700 paces. Uh, but uh, apparently there's a death ride getting, uh, getting us a bit closer and it seems like the locale is changing. Oh look at that. Looks like a desert. Kind of looks like the Grand Canyon. Um, ooh, and the lighting changes subtly as well. But uh, you know what? Before we head uh, further, I'm just going to check my inventory. Because we did find that uh, rare coil, that rare tear coil. And other hunting trails. Trials. Trials. So yeah, those are uh, quests I will not be doing in the in this playthrough. Because they're just, uh, well, time trials to uh, kill animals. What we are going to do is upgrade our sharp shield bow. Um, in the crafting menu that is so upgrade that and instead of the damage well the tear coil over here that just gives us 18% tear I'm just gonna change that to uh, ooh, fire it adds fire as well but the extra 46% tear would be nice although you know what the damage buff alone gives me a reason to just uh, yeah, put, put it on my uh, normal bow. Although I'm hoping that I'm gonna get an upgrade for this bow really soon. So why not just... I'm just gonna leave it. I know it's kind of stupid that I went to do the menu for that, but... Yeah, I'm just gonna leave it. Because I think... I kind of feel that like we should get an upgrade rather soon. This is weird. Why is this fire so red? Um, oh shit. What are those? Can't scan them from over here I thought that I hear like wings flapping wings flapping in the wind campfire discovered that's really good because I'm really gonna quick save over there and is this oh this is a camp so there's a lot of strange noises in the neighborhood um, so let's save well, we did save, but I'm just going to check out this guy's inventory. Because maybe, just maybe, we can get a new bow here. Karja War Bow. This low damage weapon fires elemental payloads best used to put targets into vulnerable states. Providing a valuable combat advantage. Can be modified. And now we have something called the Rope Caster. This weapon is used to tie down machines and immobilize them. Larger targets require more ropes. And attacking a tight machine will reduce the immobilization time. Can be modified. Sounds like something really interesting as well. And then we have the Rattler, another new thing. This close range bolt gun fires multiple projectiles with each shot and is best used when accuracy is not as important as landing multiple hits. Can be modified as well. And then we have the Shadow Hunter bow. Which is actually the upgrade for the normal bow if I'm not mistaken. And it does give us another type of arrow over there. 650 metal shards. That almost depletes my entire supply. But I think... Yeah, I'm just going to buy this. Equip. And let's equip it over there. There we go. And it has three modification slots. Now I don't have any... Uh, yeah, any money anymore. So give me a second. There is some very, very cool armor in this... Uh, guy's inventory because look at this the Karja blazing heavy the showy armor of Karja nobles and hunters lodge elites leather strips cured and plant oil protect from fire damage now I have this one still looks very cool as well but this this one is my favorite for now so if I can buy it I am going to but I don't have a charger heart um, and enough metal shards so yeah just gonna have to uh, wait a bit. Oh, look at those things. Okay, um, I'm gonna take his free sample box and a shard gambler's box. Huh. Just gonna quickly buy one of those as well. Don't know what that means. Um, but yeah, let's just quickly. Ooh, I got a tutorial for the Shadow Hunter bow as well. Shoot plates from enemies. Uh, okay, and I'm just gonna check out the boxes we still have. Machine scavenger box, and then metal shards and health potions. So I'm just gonna have to leave those there. 
two more fast travel packs, that's really good, and then four metal shards from the 10 I paid for it, so not really in my advantage. And then I'm just gonna check this. Hardpoint arrow deals medium impact damage and high tear on impact. Useful for fighting chunkier enemies as it more easily removes parts from machines to deal additional an uh, damage. Okay. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Um, so that means we have three arrow types now. Hardpoint arrows. I just need wood and ten shards for that. So I'm just gonna yeah, fully craft that and uh, equip that I'm as well. I'm gonna prove myself in these trials. I should do it fair and square. Okay, I can't, I can't fire my arrows over there because I'm right inside of a, a trial area. Uh, but I think I should be able to go down here. The machines are far enough away. A trampler. So body is weak to frost. And then the horns are of course weak to tear. And there's something in the back there. A power cell that's weak to electricity and a processing unit. Okay, this looks like a heavy enemy. Let's see what we can do. Hopefully he doesn't notice me over here. So if I just put this here and this here and take my hard point arrows. Ready or not. I'm just gonna use the tear blast arrows to just He still has one more. There we go. And now I need to uh... what is he doing? I've gotta follow up. What is he doing? Oh shit. Just gonna have to use my tear blast arrows on these guys. And then I do wanna kinda get in its back. There we go, that exploded. I don't know why it's not attacking me. Probably am in a bit of a weird position for him. There we go. What the fuck are those? Um. Um, there's a lot of things happening here. Oh shit! I I can't see myself anymore. I don't think it cares about fire. Um, just gonna try and use my precision arrows on these bird thingies. Oh shit, this is a problem. This is a problem. Okay, these bird things are really annoying. And I'm dead! Great! So yeah, those guys are pretty hard. Uh, also, by the way, uh, pro tip, if you um, buy stuff after you save and you die before you can save again, you need to buy all that shit again. Hi. Is it me or is that a bigger bird than the ones we were fighting before? That looks... A storm bird. Level 27. That is... Something I do not want to fight. That is annoying. Um, 
Okay, I still need to head to Meridian, and apparently we need to go through the field where I died. Um, so yeah, let's just do that. There we go. Oh, I'm just gonna, yeah. I just dropped down because of, um, because I'm stupid. I'm just really, really stupid. Okay, let's try to avoid any machines I do not know. Any strange machines, although I do want to kill one of those. Just to see what it's like. That's the cactus I tried to tear blast. You know what? Since they're with three guys over there. There we go, that's one. I might as well try and... Oh shit, there's, there's the birds again. There's the birds again. So these guys just come and swoop in for some reason. Glint Hawk, so that's why they were so heavy. They're level 18. Um, so they're weak to fire arrows. Which is interesting. And then their face... Is this a Glint Hawk as well? Interesting. And those are Glint Hawks. Am I able to reach... What is that noise? Holy shit. Can I actually check out the corpse I just... Of the guy that I just killed? Or did they take all the loot with them? It looks like they did. So if I want that loot back... I'm gonna have to kill these motherfuckers. Oh, this is gonna be... This is gonna have been such a bad idea. Oh, I'm still in stealth. I'm still in stealth. Yeah, you're going down. No, you're going down. That's one of them down. And I wasted a bit of arrows, but... Oh, now these these tramples are coming. Okay. What is going on? What is going on? There's red stuff all over the place. Jesus Christ, are these guys exploding themselves? So I killed something. Now I need to kill this frickin' bird thingy. Oh, that's a, definitely the, the wrong thing to do. Where is it? Fuck you! I'm no freaking dumb. Oh, did that? Did that piss off the big bird? That's gonna be. That's gonna be annoying. Metal vessels. Wanna 
gonna get his belly. Oh shit! Oh come on, you didn't even hit me. Fuck you. Shouldn't have probably exploded that while I was next to it, but hey. Whew. They are getting... Is that a yellow symbol? Trampler lens? No, that's just green, but it looks a bit off. Okay. Um, The game is starting to get a bit hard. Especially since we're playing on hard. This is... Okay. I need... Need a bit of a breather. My hands are sweaty. Um, so let's just get all the arrows we can make. What the hell was that kind of maneuver? I go back to these. Am I glad I just upgraded my... Oh shit, that's a big shadow. That's the thunder, the storm bird being a big asshole. But we don't need to head in that direction, which is really good. Just need to head away from it just as far away as possible if i can get more loot all the better for it but i do need to head the other direction there we go look at whoa there's a big big monument over there or a bridge not, not really a bridge probably another guard post just quickly gonna save over here because this is rather overwhelming, all those new machines, and I don't even know how many there are left. How many there are that we just didn't see yet. Do I need to... I'm just going to pay this thing a visit. Lone light. And uh, gather my supplies up. a bit. Hello, good sirs. Can I enter your uh, humble abode? And there's another, there's another campfire over here. Okay, doesn't seem like there's... I don't even see a single quest in this area. Can't I enter any of the buildings, it seems. Sure as the sun's rising, he's but, yeah. It seemed like the safer route to just pass through this, uh, this building instead of going down there. More machines down there as well. Uh, going down fast. Yeah, going down fast, and I'll see you guys in a second when something exciting happens. Since we're here and we need to, uh, well, travel a great distance, I'm just gonna override a broad head here and just use him as my mount. There we go. I don't think if I ever rode a broad head before, because I kind of feel like. I used striders and maybe one time a grazer, but that's pretty much it. And look at how the sun is rising above the horizon. <laughs> yeah, okay. So this should get us to Meridian pretty fast, although I am going to pick up any quests I... Uh, oh. There we go. Hello. Oh, that's Nil again. I did tell you we'd meet again. Yes, indeed. No. Still hunting bandits? Oh, yes. I've been sharpening my blade, anticipating the scent of the fight. Don't get me wrong. These scum are odorous. A little panic and desperation really sets it off, though. Like an incense. So, what's your knife called? Why would someone name a knife? So much for small talk. <laughs> are you ready? Just don't think this means I enjoy it. Don't worry. We'll take your secret to their graves. Okay then, does that mean you're gonna follow me already? Yep, it does. Um, well then. Now that we're here, just quickly gonna save here. And then, apparently, do I even have that equipped? No, he's just gonna follow me around apparently. There we go, I set it as our active quest. Not that I see much, because where's this bandit camp? 
do I just need to follow the, the spikes and the blood trails? Let's let's do that. Let's just follow the blood and get uh, get to the the alarm as fast as we can. It looks like the alarm is probably up there somewhere, but since we can see these guys already, I'm just gonna tag these motherfuckers. There we go. I'm just gonna go with uh, one of these. Don't think it was necessary to use precision arrows, but I think the effect was uh, pretty nice as well. Oh god, seems like there's at least one guy with a special kind of weapon. There we go, human headshot. And then indeed there's somebody with a machine gun up there. And you get an arrow. There we go. Stab. And there we go. And they're back. Take out the woman over there. I am so sorry. No, I'm not. Oh, snap. And stab. Oh, this is so beautiful. Nothing good. Can I actually free these guys? Before we actually do something? Or do we just automatically free these guys? There's, there's a prompt. There we go. Free this guy. Let me get this open. Free this guy over here. Or this woman, I should say, I think. And then let's move further and kill the rest of these bastards. Yeah. Oh, I need to kill this guy with style. Something. Yeah, that was that was probably this very is interesting. Look real good on you. Oh, for fuck's sake! Why am I missing this guy? That's coming. What? What? Jesus Christ! That was terrible. That's one for the highlights, I think. This is a pretty cool looking camp though. Now that we get that overview shot, <laughs> he's still in stealth. Hello merchant. I wanna buy something from your pants. No, okay. Let's trade with this guy, probably won't sell me anything new. Unless he does, but I don't think he does. So, just gonna get a sample box and then let's see, can I sell you anything? So that gives us 750 shards. Which I think is either just enough for that armor I want, or yeah, 30 shards shy from that. But I don't have a charger heart yet, so uh, yeah, I can't really Captain do that. Ursa. Asura, anyway, no, she fought for the Sundom. So let's save over here, and then maybe gather a bit of supplies. But we're gonna head further on our way. I think we still have. That mount, right? Yeah, there we go. So the mount is still available. And I need to just head to Nil first so we can uh, finish this quest. Save these and see the what, what he has to say about uh, this achievement we just did. Where the hell is he even? I hope he's not on top over there, because otherwise I'm going to just curse at the game for 10 minutes. Be really, really mad about it. But I think he should be. There's something. Ooh, there's stuff flying all around. There's a grazer over there. And then. Hello, Nils. Still right next to my broad head for some reason. Hello. Remember how the blood pounded in your ears. They'll ring later. In the calm. Sometimes you're really, calm really creepy, Nil. From your inner desires. Or a cry for help. I wouldn't fight it. I can tell. Okay, so you were so a soldier. You used to be a soldier. You fought for the Karja? Oh, for them, against them. An empire always finds its wars. You can't be picky. The new king of Vod saw things differently. Called an investigation into war crimes. Aren't all wars a crime to someone? Still, I raised my hand and volunteered. You volunteered to investigate? No, I volunteered my confession. No sense wasting time with an investigation. <laughs> I was sent to Sunstone Rock for two years. The trade was fair. 
Okay, then what? Yeah, what crimes? That's a bit of an obvious question, but... What were these things you did, Nil? Acceptable things, under the circumstances. That smile on his face. Acceptable to who? Or smirk. I don't make decisions. Let's just say the rules of engagement suited me. But rules are important. A structure. Cage. Otherwise, you know of those places, lonely places where people once were? Now just a hole cut in the world. Chances are, I was there before. What do you... Yeah, okay then. So you explored a lot, that's what you want to say actually. Uh, Sunstone Rock. sent you to a rock for two years? Is this some kind of... Probably a ritual? prison. No, no, Sunstone Rock is a prison. South of Meridian, south of the Rain Gathers. Our new Sun King is a believer in rehabilitation. As am I. In the heat of a stone cell, in the dark, I learned to focus on what was truly important to me. Look how smooth his chest is. I mean, have look you found at a new that. Partner yet? I thought we were partners. I Ooh. have my own roads to follow now. And they seem to lead back to bandits. That works for me. I'm not suggesting not a, a single hair on his chest. I'm never lonely where there's killing. But you're still a very creepy dude that's wearing way too small Time vests. To a brief encounter for us, but the end for them. Indeed. They were squalid lives anyway. Kind of agree with that one, but yeah, it's still... This guy still creeps me out a bit. Uh, but it's it's kind of cool that they... Uh, but what the hell is that thing? I saw something on the ridge over there. I would reach level 19, by the way. Um... Oh, there's so much to do. Look, whoa, look at this. Stop, stop, stop. Oh, oh gold. What the hell is that? A thunder jaw. So that's the thing on the cover of the game. This launcher is a tail. You can shoot pretty much everything off this body. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna antagonize Here that Here we guy. go. And I think over there is Meridian. So uh, we're getting closer. I'm not sure if we're gonna get there in this episode, but we're getting really close. Oh, so cold. No, no, leave me alone. Don't mind me. Uh, I know there's a campfire over there, but don't mind me. What the hell? Okay, I think he, he followed me for a bit, but then stopped. Good, and suddenly we're in the jungle. They really change up the biomes really, really quickly. So, from desert to jungle. Look at this place. I'm not gonna cut any of this out because. And there's. What the hell is that spire thing over there? I'm just letting this thing drive on autopilot for the moment. Look at that. That is something. Disorderly conduct last night. And then, of course. Meridian itself. Look at that city. And the architecture in general around these places, because these bridges look pretty cool. Oh my god. I'm almost speechless. As in, I barely have anything to say right now. Just look at that. This is the world they created, and we were on the other side of that mountain before. I'm just, yeah, yeah, thank you. Thank you, Rollhead, to just stop. Stop and stare. Wow. I mean, this is an amazing world Gorilla has built. They uh, deserve all the praise they're getting. Look to me for help. My duty is to guard. No but uh, I just want to just take a little peek inside of Meridian. I know this uh, this episode is uh, running on the long side here. But I wonder if I can... Yeah, Mount can enter this location. That would be weird if that uh, machine would the be able to enter. So, since it's still it. quite a ways off, I might just... I'm sorry for the wait, but all goods entering the city are subject to search. This is outrageous. We're loyal citizens. How long do we have to wait? What am I supposed to do? Just sit here and let everything spoil? Okay, I so they... Meridian was open to all, Karja. We all have our place in the order of things. What so happened they to can't Ursa bring in to do with us. goods because of something that happened with Ursa. And look at, what the hell is... Is that... 
I'm already confused. That's not... Did we come from up Just there or... No, we came from over in. there, so up there is something Thanks else. This place is amazing. But yeah, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna have to take a little break because otherwise I'm just gonna keep going. And that wouldn't be good for the length of my videos and the amount of uh, content you're gonna see every day. How long do we have to wait? So, with that magnificent backdrop, uh, I'm gonna take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. And if you did, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. Uh, oh, and there's a duck over there. And uh, well, thank you guys again enormously for watching. And I hope to see you in the next video or series. How long do we have to... Okay, um, I was going to say goodbye, but yeah, with, with killing these birds. But you can't kill these birds. Interesting. So yeah, goodbye. Oh.